meantime, the president facing criticism of his war on terror policies. Uh, criticism that really sounds pretty familiar. During, uh, during his 2008 campaign, then-Senator Obama described President Bush's policies as indiscriminate and too secretive. But many say the same is now true of the Obama administration. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen is live from the State Department. So, James, normally when we talk about critics, we're talking about the, you know, the, the opposite side of the aisle, if you will. But when we look at the criticism of the president on this, it includes members of his own base. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, and so much of this criticism, Jenna, that's now suddenly arising from the left of the president and his policies in the war on terror has to do with timing, specifically the start of the president's uh, second term and his nomination of counterterrorism advisor John Brennan to be director of CIA. As a career intelligence officer, Brennan has spearheaded a number of policies, the dramatic expansion of the drone program, for example, and the development of novel legal theories to justify the use of drones to assassinate U.S. citizens said to be engaged in terrorism abroad, all of which liberals find abhorrent. Much of this does indeed sound familiar, even if the chorus isn't quite as deafening as it once was. In the Bush-Cheney era, the same individuals now asserting expanded presidential powers were among the most vocal critics of the less lethal policies of rendition, waterboarding, and the indefinite detention of foreign nationals captured on the battlefield. This president, when he was a senator, uh, excoriated, uh, excoriated the Bush administration for uh, its enhanced interrogation program and its pre presumption of, pre of an imperial presidency and presidential powers. And now that he's the president, he's very lucky he doesn't have a Senator Obama who's, who's, uh, who's chastising him from the floor of the United States Senate. An added irony is that many former Bush administration officials are now voicing strong support for President Obama and his conduct of the war on terror, Jenna. Interesting, a bit of uh, musical chairs, if you will. How is the administration responding to, to the criticism so far? Well, they're saying a lot of things that we heard from the Bush-Cheney White House. We are told, for example, that this administration takes great care to limit the killing of civilians, that members of Congress are adequately briefed, and that for all unsavory covert operations, the law, in effect, is on our side. We try to lay out for the American people the considerations that go into um, the, the operations. Um, and one of the things I want to make sure that everybody understands is that um, our primary concern is to keep the American people safe, but to do so in a way that's consistent with our laws and consistent with our, our values. Follow me on Twitter at James Rosen, FNC, and I'll tweet out just moments from now an occasion when then-Senator Joe Biden chastised President Bush's Attorney General on grounds that once again may seem familiar as being unconstitutional. Jenna. Just wait to the end of the next conversation because the next segment is also on this, James, so we need to kind of stretch it out a little bit. I'm looking at Paul Jigo over there. All right, James. <laughs>